Hello, my name's Tragic O'Hara. I've been digging through the garage and looking through some of my old stuff. I found DV tapes, CDs, DVDs, cassette tapes, books, like loads of stuff. Cause I, I hold things. I keep, I keep things. Uh, and one of the things I found was this. That there is the first ever recording I made with a band when I was 15. That's how long I've been doing this sort of stuff. I'm 33 now, so 18 years I've been playing music or making art or doing stuff like that, and I've never stopped. So this was the, the first band, first kind of proper band that I was ever in, um, and we were called Empathy, because still, even now, I am obsessed with Nirvana. Nirvana's my favourite band of all time. It's the band that got me into music, essentially. So this tape is just basically four, this is, there's four songs on this that are essentially just like me trying to write like Nirvana, that's what it is. I mean, I'm not gonna lie and tell you that it's any good. I was 15, right? But I just wanted to be like Kurt Cobain, basically. On Kurt Cobain's suicide note, it said, peace, love, and empathy. And that's where the name came from. We were skint, still am. That's why I work in my garage, but we didn't have money like to go and record and stuff like. So we made this tape using the school's Coomba, I think that's what it's called, tape recorder. <laughs> and we went into our music room uh, at school. Me, my friend Kyle and my friend Gary, and covered it with our school jumpers. There wasn't a PA system, so we had like a, another guitar amp that I'd brought from my, ho my house. Um, I didn't have distortion on it, so I had to use one of the school's, <laughs> the school's guitar amps for the distortion, and we used my other amp as a, as a PA. And we sat that next to the next to the speaker, uh, and then we sat the bass and stuff around about it to try and get the op optimum sound from this from this tape recorder. Um, and we made a and we made a demo. I then took this master recording, and I went home and I dubbed I don't know how many copies that night, uh, and I went round about school the next day, and I sold them to people for a for a pound. I think it was, and it was four songs. It was four songs that I wrote when I was 15. They are full <laughs> of, te of teenage angst. I learned a lot from making this tape. One of the things I learned was um, you don't need the best of gear to make stuff happen. And I, I think that's kind of stuck with me forever. I made up my first album in my bedroom using like an M-Box and one, like a condenser microphone uh, and I, I'm still paying off the student loan. <laughs> See, when I've only started making these kind of videos and stuff, but like I could have waited until I had enough money in the bank to maybe go and buy another camera or go and try and get a studio space that wasn't attached to my house. But like, what's the point? Like, if you can, I genuinely think doing stuff like this gears you up for later in life when it's like, if you've got it, make it, and if you can't make it, find a way to make it happen. So I thought I'd make a video because it might not, I mean, this will mean nothing to anyone. Like I don't expect you to listen, go and listen to them all and dissect them, but they're there so that I can look back and go, oh man, like, like this, is, this teleported me back to when I was 15 in that room, sweaty, the whole place was smelly and just being that age and just making stuff. But the main thing I learned from making tapes and doing stuff like that is like, you don't need the best of gear. What you've got is the best thing. But anyway, I'm rambling. I don't expect you, to, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. But I don't expect you to listen to the whole thing. Like it is just me and three other guys shouting and sort of two other guys just shouting and stuff. But like, anyway, put on.